going on another walk today, joined by Mr. Arrow and Ella, of course. Well, I can't fit through there. <laughs> These mayflies are absolutely ridiculous, though. So. What'd you find? <laughs> Sorry, the bugs are getting. What's that? Hmm. Is it a cherry? <laughs> <laughs> Even on my camera, the flies oh, only poop. me alone. Oh, yeah, be careful of poop. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is, sweetie. Don't get too far ahead of me, honey. Okay. Ready? Oh, honey, I almost stepped on you. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you stepping? Stop it! Silly. Hey, what are we gonna do next week to your hair? Try not. Cut it all off, right? Ew. No, I'm kidding. Wow. We're gonna just get her a little trim on the very, very ends. Sorry, my I'm all dirty from work this morning. But we're gonna give her a little trim. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can I fix you? Yeah. And then, uh, we're gonna angle her face, give her a little uh, pretty like angle, angle right around your face. To cut it off? Just a tiny bit, like you're not losing a lot of hair at all. Like hey, little pieces? Mm -hmm. Well, like in the front of your hair, they're gonna make it super pretty and like give this? you like pretty. Like these little mini pieces? <laughs> Like these little memes. Not bangs, not short. Black with these flies. Oh. How long are you? Oh, he's okay. These little tiny black flies. And I would put on bug spray, but it doesn't do anything to them. They, they're like immune to it. But, anyways, yeah, we're gonna go get her hair cut a and week guys, before school starts. We are gonna go across on the walk. I got some sneakers on. Yeah, and sneakers. Got Sneakers are really good on logs. That's right. Sneakers are really good for walk. <laughs> My logs. goodness gracious. And, <sighs> and logs, right? And logs. So we're gonna go on for we're gonna go on the walk. We're gonna go on the walk with my sneakers on. Yep. Because sneakers are really good on logs. Yeah. So it's kind of it's like warm, but there's a nice breeze. Supposed to thunderstorm later today because the clouds are so gray and dark. It's been muggy all day. Nah, I thought I felt a raindrop. Oh, yeah. Here we can go. No, this way. Dude. That that way goes on and on and on and on forever. This way circles back around. That's what we want. Mom? <laughs> oh baby. Oh, uh, I want to go on a log. Yeah, there's there's plenty of logs over here. Plenty of logs. Yeah. There's um, water. There's there's a log over water? Um, there's a log over here with water? Uh, maybe. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about, honey. I don't want to get all wet, though, because you could fall in. No, logs are really good with sneakers. Yeah. So I got my sneakers on, we're going to go on the log. Maybe. Oh. Is that a raindrop? Yeah, I did feel a raindrop on my forehead, but we're okay, because if it... If it Holy smokes, these bugs. <laughs> if I, uh, come on. Yeah. I wish you guys could see this. They're like swarming. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. <laughs> I think we're gonna. <laughs> come on, baby. We're getting attacked by mayflies. Come on, Bubba. Come on, just run. I'll get you. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're really annoying. Went to the store today and picked up some mums. There's another one over by my front gate, but I got those two. I need little um, <clears throat> baskets for them. Look at the mountain. Today we're at the mountains. Yep. Look how we're, beautiful. And we're gonna go through those. We are. Yep. Very cool. Are so you excited? So we need to go near the. Oh, oh, hold up. Well, we gotta wait for the rest of the family, honey. <laughs> They're all taking pictures. No. Yeah. Go check out over here first. The This Mall Cemetery is owned by the citizens of the town of Albany. Visitors are invited to inspect the stones, but are requested to maintain the dignity of the ground. Creepy.
deep breath. <laughs> um, my, oh my God, I knew the end of August, beginning of September was gonna be absolutely cooked bananas, but this is a little ridiculous. The next couple of days, I, I literally had to write down a to-do list just for the next three days because Ella's birthday party is coming up this weekend and I'm so stressed out. And I made like a little, this was all while I was at work today, but I made like a little checklist of stuff that I didn't want to forget like on her birthday birthday, like the day of her birthday, not to forget to bring to the location. And then, um, so I'm trying to just do last minute things for that this week. But some of the stuff like I can't do until tomorrow. Um, I'm like trying to get her one last minute gift, which I can't do with her, which would have been perfect to do today, but I don't have time today. I might have time. We'll see. It's, it's 6.05 right now. I just got work. I went in for eight. Um, but I had an unexpected appointment today. That's where I'm sitting right now. I just have my car running cause it's hot out. Um, but I'm at the dentist and I'm so nervous. <laughs> like, Shane, come on, you're a grown woman, seriously. You're a grown pregnant woman. I think you can handle the dentist, but I haven't been to the dentist, guys, since maybe 18 and I'm 26. Think about that for a second. Like at least, like almost 10 years, if not 10 years. Because the last time that I went to the dentist, I remember I went to this place that was quite far away, but they were like organic. Um, and oh my gosh, the last time I was there, oh my goodness, this was like my first dentist that we're at today. But the reason that I'm here, not only to get my life together and start making dentist appointments <laughs> again, um, I have like a really, I think it's decaying. I have a decaying tooth. I had my wisdom teeth pulled out when I was in high school, I think senior year, junior or senior year of high school, which was again like six years ago. Um, so that's the last time that I've been to a dentist, but not even for like a cleaning. Um, but unfortunately, the tooth next to where my wisdom tooth was has a big hole in it. I can't even, I don't even know if I mentioned this in a vlog or not. Um, I don't mind my nails, that's also on my to-do list is to get them filled and cut down a little tomorrow. Um, my tooth just really, really, really hurts. Um, I was kind of like toughing it out a little bit. Like I, I started to see a little hole starting to form and that hole just got really big really fast. And now like my nerves are exposed, like my whole jaw right here hurts. It's causing ear aches. Like it's just getting to the point of where it's keeping me up at night where I already am having a hard time sleeping. Like I'll wake up in excruciating pain. During the day, it's a little more tolerable because like I'm busy, you know, I'm not like focusing on that. But like when you're lying down in bed trying to relax and then you have this just nagging pain, it's just, it's kept me up. Um, so I've been like, I've been really afraid to make the dentist appointment, not because I'm necessarily afraid of the dentist, but I don't like being yelled at <laughs> and I feel like they're absolutely going to tear me a new one because of the state of my mouth right now. And like, I brush my teeth. I do like, I'm not like, like, I, it's not like I don't take care of my mouth at all, but I'm not the best at flossing. I definitely have been trying to get into that habit over the past like couple of years and stuff. So like, it's not like I haven't been trying. It's just one of those things. You, you all know how it is to floss. And um, I just feel like when I go in here, they're going to be like, girl, <laughs> like, I'm so afraid of what they're going to say. And I'm also super embarrassed because I just got out of work and where my dentist is, it's right near where I work. So I didn't want to go all the way home just to come all the way back during rush hour. So like I didn't even get to like brush my teeth. You know what I mean? I feel gross. Like I feel so gross. But I called them earlier and I said, listen, I said, I don't even know if I'm still a client with you guys. Like they had me under my maiden name, which is funny, so I have to do a name change. But they still have me as a, um, oh, what the heck? 
a patient, hello. They had me as a patient, so I called them and said, listen, I haven't been to a dentist in a very, very, very long time, but like I'm in a lot of pain. The only issue is that I'm also pregnant. So they said, okay, like we're definitely gonna have to do x-rays, see what's going on with that tooth. Like explain my tooth, said that I wanted an urgent appointment because I'm just, I'm in a lot of pain. And um, so they said, you, because you're pregnant, you need to call your OBGYN and we need to get the okay from them to do x-rays. So I had to call my OBGYN, explain to them that I have a decaying tooth. They faxed over the okay from my dentist and then I got the like appointment, uh, like they'll send me a text when I have an appointment. So while I'm here, I'm definitely gonna like schedule a cleaning and everything. I just really have to get this this tooth taken care of. Like I'm really good with my daughter's doctor's appointments. Like she has her first dentist appointment next month. You know, she's never late for a physical. That's also, I think her physical's in like October. Like I'm on top of my kids. But then when it comes to me, <laughs> I just kinda, like I'm not a priority. <laughs> I don't, but like, you know, I don't want this tooth to go septic, I think was the word my mom used, which is harmful for the baby. And I know that like gum disease can lead to heart issues and like health issues. And I don't want that obviously, so. I need to schedule, I want this tooth pulled, basically. I don't even care to save it at this point. I don't think they can save it at this point and I don't care. It's not one of my front teeth. It's none of the teeth that you can see. Um, it's like way back here and I just don't care. I want it gone. I'll, I'm gonna pull it out myself at this point. Um, and I, you know, I'm gonna tell them that like whatever has to be done has to get done. So hopefully I can have that pulled soon because I'm under so much stress over the next two months that I just don't want to be dealing also with this aching pain on top of just being uncomfortable being pregnant. Um, so there is that and I'm also going to schedule a cleaning because I'm an adult and I should be doing this and then I need to also call my PCP and get like regular physicals back up and running as well. So I'm just um, slow on learning how to be an adult but I'm here a little bit early. Honestly, I'm just rambling because I'm nervous and whenever I do nervous things, I turn on my camera and talk to the phone because it makes me feel better. It makes me feel like somebody's here with me holding my hand because I'm so scared. <laughs> Anyways, um, like I said, I'll let you know what they say right after the appointment or whatever, but like I said, the next couple of days are absolutely crazy. Instead of just sitting here and telling you guys what we have to do, I'm gonna bring you along for the ride as many errands as possible. I feel like I'm like already falling behind on vlogs and all that fun stuff and I haven't even started at my job full time again. So I'm just a stress of a goo. I need to go buy a stress ball, a market basket while we're here, but um, okay, let's go in. We're a tiny bit early, but Let's see if they'll take me. Ooh, they can rip my butt off. Okay, so it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, ow, 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 sorry. I don't know what I just, oh, I don't know what I just sat on, but that was so sharp. Ow. Okay, so as soon as I went into the room, the lady like put the little napkin thing over my neck and she's like, oh, you're here for a cleaning, right? No. <laughs> like, no. I, um, I said I am here to get x-rays because my tooth, I'm pretty sure, is decaying. They said that they could save it with a root canal and I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried because I, I, I haven't heard good things about root canals, but they gave me... A piece of paper they gave me a piece of paper that um, has some like referrals so I need to call them and see a if they accept my insurance and then when they could have me in and then they need to do I guess I have an infection which is fun so I got two prescriptions um, one for Tylenol which I already have but some Tylenol and then amoxicillin which hopefully it's a um, that liquid stuff because I don't do that great on pills. I can take them, but I have to crush them. But that pink bubblegum, delicious. I'll take that every damn day. <laughs> so I need to take that every eight hours 
for the next week. And then if that doesn't seem to uh, be doing anything for me, then I need to call them back and figure something else out. Honestly, the pain is only bad like when I'm lying down and resting. Like I said, during the day, it's really not that noticeable. At night, <laughs> your girl's crying yourself to sleep. <laughs> So I'm just, I'm glad I got that out of the way. I'm glad that I got it taken care of. I was definitely not expecting the whole infection thing, but I need to go and get the prescription right now. So that's what I'm gonna do. And your girl does not get paid till tomorrow, but I, one of my projects was to go to Five Below because Ella had been eyeballing this toy. We went there the other day. And I only let, let, I let her get one out of the two that she really wanted. And I figured because her birthday is coming, Mama will go get her another one. But I'll see if I have $5. If not, hello, bike. If not, that'll be another project for tomorrow. But again, it, it's one of those things that like I want to do without her, obviously. <laughs> and I really don't get the opportunity to do that yet. So... I can just go and get that done that would be splendid you know what screw it I um ah, oh. <laughs> I'm so stressed I um I was gonna go to the pharmacy tonight but they literally close in like 10 minutes I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it anyway so on top of the thousand things I have to do tomorrow too I'm just I'm gonna go pick up my medication tomorrow I can definitely survive one more night um and then five below is gonna wait tomorrow too i'm gonna just wait until tj gets home and go pick her up a birthday card and that like last minute gift um i, I just i have to get home like it's eight o'clock already i have a sponsor not a sponsored video i have a collaboration that's due i just have a lot to do and i'm like kind of stressing about it so if i can kind of split up like what i need to do over the next couple of days in more of a logical way then i'm going to <laughs> so we will continue this vlog whoop we'll continue this vlog pretty much right in early right and early tomorrow stop number one today we're back at Burlington. <laughs> I was so concerned with her back to school shopping about buying like warm clothes. I realized that she's still gonna need at least a few kind of warm clothes. Like it's already starting to go down in the 70s, but she can't wear sweaters yet. So <laughs> we're here to basically pick out um, some stuff and like a back to school, like a first day of school outfit sort of deal. We got it guys. We got her first day of school outfit. Um, I am gonna put her and little black tights and little black flats as well. But it's so cute. It's got bumblebees on it. I don't know, it's super like, uh, it just scre screamed school to me and it was really adorable. I might come back for one other item that I saw that was really cute and I almost don't want to pass it up. It wasn't expensive either, it was like $16, but. What was it? It was another dress, but it also had, I'm gonna pull through, but it also had a coat. So, stop number one is, I have to come back to this plaza later anyways because I have to go get my nails filled, but I didn't want to, she helped me out this morning, so I didn't want to like keep her out all day, so I figured when TJ gets home, I have to run a couple errands without her anyway, so I need to come back yeah. to this plaza, get my nails done, so if I really want to, I'll just come back for that, uh, for that other outfit as well so we're on our way home at the moment oh no we're not we're on my way my next stop is the um uh, nobody's gonna let me go my next stop is the pharmacy this guy what this lady <laughs> put on her left blinker then her right blinker then her left blinker and then went straight uh, confusing was, much? What's up, babe? So you guys, this dress actually is that has bumblebees, yeah. and, and that dress is perfect for to pet the bumblebees. It's for your um, it's for your first day of school, Mama. Well, it's perfect for bumblebees too. It's right? perfect for bumblebees. 
Bumblebee dress. And Bumblebee yeah. is blue. Bumblebee is white. Yeah. I have little either we can either do black tights or we can do white tights and then I have little black flats that you can wear. And the next time I'm at Walmart I'll see if they have like a little yellow bow or something for her hair that day. Um but yeah, she's okay, good. So buddy's the line of Toy store. Yeah. But I need to go. I need to go pick up my prescription. I didn't do it last night, but my jaw has been hurting me all day, so I need to go get that. We're gonna try um, this CVS pharmacy. I've never gone here particularly for medication, but that's what the dentist said. I could bring it to any pharmacy, so we're gonna try it and see how hopefully easy this is. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna owe the money to and be honest with you. And toys have toys too. Uh, we're not getting toys, honey. We're here to pick up mommy's medication. Really? Oh, we're slowly knocking this uh, to-do list off. Naturally, because I'm waiting for my medicine. I went to the makeup section. <laughs> Baby, come on. I'm hoping that it's what I think it is. And I think it is. <laughs> I'm like actually excited to take this. Let me see. Well, maybe not. Is it? Hold on, let's see. No! <laughs> Dang, I was really hoping that it was the pink medicine. These are gigantic. You kidding me? <laughs> Can I look? No. Oh my gosh. You know what I'm going to have to do? This sucks. Oh man. Um really wish I'd talked to my physician and said, hey, I can't take pills. Oh my God. They're yeah. not even like the crushable capsules. They're like the capsules with the, like, they're like plastic capsules. I, I, I used to have medication like this and I used to have to open up the capsule and put it on a spoon and eat it that way but I can almost guarantee that it is gonna taste like throw up. <laughs> oh, no! Well, Damn. You, well, you got like, well, mom. What? I'm not happy. Your mom actually has one of those, those too. Oh my gosh. Your mini chocolate mini actually has some of those too. I don't know what to do. I well I know, but Mimi can Mimi can take these. I can't take these. I mean I'm gonna try, obviously. I just paid for the medication, but take one capsule by mouth three times a day until finished. What do you mean? Oh my god. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna stop being a baby. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to break them open. I'm gonna try to take them by mouth, but some I literally just can't. I can't handle so if I can't these handle are it little, are no these are nasty are. Like, I'm gonna call my dentist back and say like I forgot to mention that I can't take pills because I'm psychologically insane so can you please get me the pink stuff <laughs> oh I'm in so much pain oh I like kind of want to cry anyways so um, for makeup, I just ended up, I mean, I, I was just browsing real quick. I got another e.l.f. brow gel. Um, it's literally a dollar. And then I found this Ultimate Lip Intense Stay Auto Liner from LA Girl. Um, and I really want to use lip liners because I feel like my lipstick has such a hard time staying on. But your girl's check just came through, so... That means that I can do everything that I wanted to do today, which is awesome because that just eliminates all the stuff that I have to do for tomorrow. I got this in the color 3, uh, 323, I think. Yeah, no, 343, keeping it spicy. And I like the lip liners. Oh, it has like a grip, almost like a pencil grip, like a rubbery grip. Um, I see? Yeah. I want to try this because my lipstick is already coming off. You're not as good as me. I'm not as good as you. <laughs> is daddy gonna come home today? Yeah. Yeah, Miss Ella's earring fell off. I noticed when we were in CVS. 
and uh, she always thinks it's gonna hurt putting an earring back in, and it's not. Like I don't, I don't have oh, one of those little pinchy things, honey. Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. What? <gasps> I just joke you with you, Mom. It doesn't hurt if you put in. That's right. It doesn't ear. hurt at all. Like you know, when when we were at Chocolate Moods and one of uh -huh. my and two of my earrings fell out. Yeah. And Uncle James put them back in. Uh huh. And, and then it didn't hurt. Right. And then it, it came out another time, and Daddy put it back in, and it didn't hurt. You didn't even know he was doing it. And now uh, we're gonna put it back. Right. So when we go home, I'm going to let daddy do it because you you tend to be a little calmer when your father does it than I do it. So we'll go home and we'll pick out a new pair. And then when daddy gets home, he can help me put it in for you, okay? But if I see him, then maybe I just need to hide. No, it doesn't hurt, Bubblicious. I just take you with you. I don't die. I'm just going to run and freak out and cry. Uh-uh. No, you're not. No, you're a, no, you're I'm a big cry. girl. I don't, I don't like to do a sad cry, a happy cry. <laughs> How about no cry? Then you know what, Mom? Come on, baby. If I see you, then I, sometimes okay. you do a sad Good. cry, sometimes you do a happy cry, right? Yeah, sometimes I cry because I'm sad, sometimes I cry because I'm happy. But everybody does that, I think. Okay. Some people do. Let me uh, go into my to-do list. So we got a back-to-school outfit. Again, I am, I do want to go back and grab one more outfit that I saw there because it was so cute. Uh, you know what? I gotta go to the bank first. That's what Mama has to do next. It's bank. Oh, wait a minute. That just reminded me. I also got sweet tarts. <laughs> oh, I'm dealing with teeth issues but I can't stay away from sugar okay so we got the back to school outfit I need to go to oh we did the pharmacy I need to make two well okay I need to go to need to go to Walmart for her I need to go to another store that I can't say out loud but you'll see later in this video for her and then I need to go get my nails done later and go back to Burlington let's go to the bank she needs a haircut and I almost want to do it today. Okay. Wait. What? You gonna do my haircut today? Um, I think so. Would you be okay with going to get a haircut today? Because mm -hmm. it was gonna do. I was gonna do it today or tomorrow, but I would rather get it done today so that tomorrow we can do something fun, like kind of get our all our errands out of the way. But mommy's gotta go to the bank next, okay, girlfriend? And after the bank, baby, we can get my haircut. Mm-hmm. But mom. What? Probably I want to do the haircut at, at, at the Sun Store. At the Sun Store? I was going to take you to, uh, I was going to take you to Supercuts. To get my haircut? Mm-hmm. Well, today I want to do the Sun Store for my haircut today. Uh, we'll see, baby. She doesn't need anything crazy done with her hair, so I figure it, like, Super cuts is fine. <laughs> Hopefully this time, party center, <laughs> there won't be a shortage on helium when we go and try to wear a balloon. So let's go see. Oh my goodness gracious. So we need four pink, four purple, four blue, four gold, and one unicorn balloon. And I think I'm gonna pick them up. Her party's on Sunday. I think I'm gonna pick them up at 10 a.m. because the party's at 12. Yeah, I think that'll, that'll give me plenty it's enough time. 12, then it's gonna be my birthday. Yeah. Balloons are ordered. This is our last stop with you. Mama has a lot of errands. Yeah, so later, no, we're at Supercuts, yeah. and, and we're just gonna get my hair cut because it's getting super duper long. Yeah. yeah. Well, just a trim, remember? Yeah. Uh oh. Starting to rain, bubblicious. Oh, wait, 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 wait. My windows are open. So I realized I never updated you guys when she got her hair cut. But you found an acorn. We're at the park at the moment. She's drawing in the sandbox. 
Um, no, she did really well. I'm gonna throw in clips of her getting her hair cut because it was like copyright music and everything. Um, but no, it went really well. Her hair pretty much looks the same though. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. But she did awesome. So I just wanted to come on and just wanted to come on and update.